Hey everybody, The Real Deal here. I've got a complete collection of the awesome Alien vs. Predator Whoever Wins collection from Titans. And you can see these are the figures in the set. Plus there's two bonus exclusive figures that aren't on the package here that I'm going to show you. And I thought it'd be cool to go through the entire set and show you what these figures look like. Uh, I did an unboxing of a full case a while ago when these came out, but I've never actually shown off the whole set. So I thought now would be an awesome time to do that. And so let's start. You know what? We're going to start with the alien side. And yes, that's how I say alien. People comment on it all the time. Whatever. That's my Jersey accent. Deal with it. So this is the awesome looking alien figure from the set. And one of the things I think that Titans does better than all the other blind box companies that are out there is they have amazing attention to detail. And just look at the detail on this thing. Looks really, really nice. Looks just like it does in the movie. Really cool looking figure. And this alien, he's 2 and 20, so he's not too hard to find. And then while we're on the aliens here, let's... Let's look at some of the alien variants that are out there. So you've got the grid alien. All right. Of course, he's got the grid on the top of his head like that. Otherwise, looks pretty much the same. And he's 2 and 20 as well, so he's a common figure. Pretty easy to get. Oh, they're kind of going out of focus when I put him back here, but that's okay. Trying to get a nice group shot for you there. All right, so that's the grid alien. And then we have this very cool glow-in-the-dark alien figure. And he's one of the chase figures. So this is 1 in 40. And it just looks really darn neat. It's cool at night to have this crazy glow-in-the-dark alien sitting on your shelf there. But, alright. So we got him. Okay. So then, while we're on this side of the box here, We've got this awesome Pred Alien. So this is, of course, the mixture of the Predator and the Alien together. And this is just... First of all, it's an awesome-looking monster. This is an awesome-looking figure representing the, the monster. And it's one of the biggest figures Titans has ever made, if not the biggest. It's huge, and this thing is awesome. This is one of my favorite figures from any of the sets. And... I just, I think it's great. And you know, when you pick this up, it's heavier than the other figures. So if you're looking for this guy, uh, grab the heaviest box that you can find. Uh, and Pred Alien has a variant too, so I may as well show you that one. This is the 1 in 40 Pred Alien variant. And he's just got the, uh, the acid on his forehead there. Not the most exciting of variants, but still kind of neat. Alright, and he's the 1 in 40. So he's the Pred Alien variant there. All right. So then, I thought this was a neat inclusion. We've got the open egg. So this is with a face hugger coming out there, you can see. That's very cool. And in the original Alien set, we've got an egg and we have a face hugger, but we didn't have an open egg. So it's kind of neat to get an open egg with the face hugger coming out. Boy, if that would stay in focus there. All right, and so this egg here is one, uh, two and 20, so the egg is pretty common there. All right, so we also, let's get the human characters out of the way, because they're on this side of the package too. We've got Alexa. All right, and Alexa is one and 20. Pretty neat. And then, of course, we've got good old Lance Henriksen here as Bishop. And he is also 1 in 20. With his ice pick thing there. And that's a cool representation of uh, Lance Hen Henriksen. A good likeness. And I like in this set, there's only two human characters. Everything else is an alien or a predator. Or the egg. Uh, I guess you can count that, but... I like that they didn't do a bunch of human characters, because who who wants the humans? You just want the cool monsters, right? So, let's look at the Predator side of things here. So, we've got Scar, okay, with his 
Oh, but I just knocked this out of his hand, but no big deal. And good old Scar here, he is 2 and 20, so he's also one of the, the more common figures. All right. And then Scar has a few variants here. So you know what? Let's get through the Scar variants. Why not? So this is Scar without his mask. And that's also 2 and 20. Uh, I don't know. Better with his mask, without his mask. Probably with his mask. It's pretty ugly looking. Pretty ugly looking monsters, the Predators. All right. And what the heck, you know what, we'll show you the other Scar variants. So this is one of the 1 in 40 Chase variants. And you've got the very cool, clear, stealth mode Predator. Invisible Predator, whatever you want to call him. And this is neat looking. It's just the same figure, just, you know, with translucent plas plastic, but still pretty darn cool looking. And it makes sense, because of course they go into stealth mode, right, in the movies, so... Very nice. All right, and then you know what? We've got the other really cool looking Scar variant here with the alien chestburster coming out. Uh, spoiler alert, I guess. But um, this is a really awesome looking figure. I love that they made this a variant. Overall, I think Titans chooses really interesting variants for their sets. They, they have a few misses here or there, but overall... For the most part, they've got really awesome variants that are worth chasing down. Because, you know, you get if you get a variant, it's a 1 in 40 figure. Uh, it should be exciting. Hey, I got a rare figure. So it should be something really cool. And I think this is definitely something really cool and worth chasing down. Putting in the effort to get. All right. So that's our Scar variants. All right. So next we've got Wolf. And boy, did I hear about it in the unboxing video. Check the comments. You'll see I made a mistake, and I think I called him Scar at first. And boy, I'll never hear the end of it. There's like a thousand comments saying, it's Wolf, it's Wolf. So, my bad, everybody. Sorry. Um, but, there he is. A very cool Wolf Predator there. And Wolf's 2 and 20 as well, so he's pretty common. Oh, well, he is a common. Scars on his helmet there. Very nice. Okay, so that was Wolf. Then we've got uh, Celtic, or Celtic, I guess, whatever you want to call him. Uh, and there he is. I love the mask on this one. It's really neat and different. <clears throat> He's 2 and 20 as well. All the Predators, except for the Variant, are 2 and 20. And the one cool thermal one I'm going to show you in a minute. But there he is. Very cool looking predator figure. I like the, like I said, I like the different mask on him there. Kind of not quite getting a good group shot there, but that's okay. And then this one, we've got Chopper, and he's cool because he's got the, the skulls, his trophy skulls there behind him, so that's pretty neat. And Chopper, guess what? He's 2 and 20 as well. And, of course, there's 20 figures in a case of these. So, that's what I'm referring to. So, we're getting to the end of it here. There's only a few more figures to show you. And uh, the last one from the regular set... Oh, come on. It's hard to stand him up because of those... He's heavy with those uh, skulls. This last one I want to show you, this is probably my favorite figure from the set. Although I really do like the Chestburster one, too. I mean, I like them all, but uh, this is the Thermal Predator, and he's only 1 in 20, so he's a little tougher to find. And I just think this is awesome looking. I think it represents that thermal scan look from the movies really well. And I just think this is a cool-looking figure. I love it. We've got our blue Thermal Scan Predator there. So, there you go. Now, I said at the beginning of this that there were two figures that are not on the case, and that's because San Diego Comic-Con, I think it was 2016, there were exclusives for uh, Toys R Us. Toys R Us did a two-pack exclusive 
of a glow-in-the-dark predator who you can see here and that's awesome because it goes really well with the glow-in-the-dark alien and then the other figure in the two pack was as you probably guessed a glow-in-the-dark alien but this is with his tongue thing out come on let's get good focus on that so you can see it there you go and I think this is an awesome looking figure as well so this glow-in-the-dark uh, two-pack this was a like I said a Toys R Us San Diego Comic-Con 2016 exclusive and you might still be able to find it at a Toys R Us if you're lucky, if they still have some sitting around. If not, you're probably going to want to check eBay for that. But there they are. So there is the set. Uh, I did a video recently of my entire Titans vinyl figure collection, so I would hope you would check that out because there's lots of cool stuff. Every day this week, I'll be posting a new video of a complete uh, individual collection. So stay tuned for that too. And I hope you like and subscribe and share. And check out all my other videos. Oh, check out the links in the description of this video for eBay and Facebook and Twitter and Patreon and all the other good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Keep on collecting.